So just like the new Sony XB43 and the Sony XB33, the new Sony XB23 sounds significantly better than its predecessor, the Sony XB22. Now the Sony XB23 is a great sounding little portable Bluetooth speaker, but I just find it really weird that Sony removed a lot of features from the XB23 compared to the XB22. Now, price-wise, the XB23 retails for $100. And if you're trying to decide between getting the XB23 or just going with the XB22 to save a little money, ultimately, I do recommend that you go with the XB23 if you want the better sound and USB-C charging. So, if you want to pick the speaker up, it'll be linked down below. Now, first off, let's talk about the design of the XB23. I both like and dislike the XB23's new body. Now, the main reason why I like the XB23's new body is because it's way more durable this time around because it has a mostly fabric body. Unlike the XB22, which I think looks cool, but it has a mostly soft touch body, so it can get scratched very easily if you're looking for a speaker to constantly take on the go with you. But just like before, the XB23 is still IP67 rated, meaning that you don't have to worry about this speaker getting wet. So if you're looking for a speaker to take camping, I do recommend the XB23 over the XB22. But what I don't like about the XB23 is that this speaker is very big for a small size portable Bluetooth speaker. This speaker is significantly larger than the XB22, but the biggest change on the XB23 from the XB22 is that it no longer has a light feature. Now, no, the light feature on the XB22 isn't amazing. But I just find it curious that Sony didn't include a light feature on the XB23 whatsoever, given that both the new XB33 and XB43 have improved light features from their predecessors. But when it comes to tech specs, thankfully the XB23 has been upgraded to USB-C charging. So if you're an Android user, you can charge your phone and speaker with the same cable. But it's very important to point out that this USB-C port is strictly used for charging. You can't use this USB-C port as a wired connection and you can't use this USB-C port to charge your own devices. And it's also very important to point out that this speaker only comes included with a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. This speaker doesn't come included with a complete charging cable like the XB43 does. So you're going to have to use your own wall adapter here. Or like I mentioned earlier, if you're an Android user, you can just charge the speaker with your phone's charger because that's what I do. Now, when it comes to battery life, the XB23 has an advertised battery life of 12 hours. But that's when the speaker is set to stamina mode and playing at 50% volume. And personally, I don't like to use stamina mode on any of Sony's speakers because it just makes these speakers sound very flat. But the speaker also has an advertised battery life of 10 hours while in extra bass mode. But real world use with this speaker playing at max volume while in extra bass mode, the speaker is good for around two and a half to three hours. And at 80% volume, the speaker is good for around four and a half to five hours. So the real world battery life on the XB23 is very so so, especially at max volume. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, the XB23 has been upgraded to Bluetooth 5.0. But more importantly, the speaker can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you and a friend can both be DJ. And this speaker also has support for higher quality audio codecs like AAC and LDAC. But unfortunately, one major downgrade on the XB23 from the XB22 is that this speaker no longer has an audio jack. Now, personally, I don't mind not having an audio jack, but I still feel that a speaker of this size should have an audio jack just in case. And also, this speaker also doesn't have NFC like the XB22 does. Now, again, personally, I don't mind not having NFC on this speaker either, but I just find it very weird that Sony removed the audio jack, they removed NFC, and they removed the light feature from the speaker. But now let's talk about listening to music with the speaker because that's what really matters. Just like the XB33 and XB43, the XB23 has an all new speaker setup. The XB23 has all new dual front wood firing transducers and it has dual passive radiators shooting out the sides. 
whereas the XB22 also has dual front-wheel firing transducers, but its passive radiators shoot out of the front and back of the speaker. Now, before we jump into the sound test, I do want to address stamina mode and stereo mode on this speaker. Now, stamina mode is simply just standard mode found on the XB22, but rebranded. Now, stamina mode reduces the bass on the speaker so that it can stretch out its battery life, but it makes the speaker sound very flat. So I try to not use it. And then there's stereo mode on the speaker. Now, personally, I don't really hear any difference versus when the speaker is set to mono mode, but I keep the speaker in stereo mode regardless. But now we're going to jump into the sound test. Now, both of these speakers are playing at max volume while in extra bass mode. The XP23 is in stereo mode and there's a little bit of stamina mode thrown in. Best days passes by And most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain So just like with all of Sony's other new speakers, the XB23 has a much wider soundstage and much better instrument separation than its predecessor. At higher volumes, the XB22 likes to put much more of an emphasis on the mids than the XB23 does, making it sound nasally by comparison. And also, everything sounds much more close together on the XB22 than on the XB23. And when it comes to max volume, the XP23 is actually a hair louder than the XP22. Now, it's not a huge difference like what we saw when we went from the UE Wonderboom to the Wonderboom 2, but I thought I'd give the XP23 props where it's due. So overall, the XB23 does perform better than the XP22. It sounds better, but it also gets a little louder. Now, personally, I just like to use the XP23 while in extra bass mode when I'm going to listen to music and I switch it over to stamina mode when I'm going to listen to a podcast. But if you want, through Sony's app, you can go in and adjust the bass, mids, and treble to your liking. But finally, let's talk about speaker pairing protocols because the XP23 is now using Sony's new Party Connect. 
meaning that you can only pair this speaker up to Sony's newer speakers using Party Connect, like an XB43, XB33, or another XB23. And this also means that you can't pair this speaker up to any of Sony's older speakers using a wireless party chain, like an XB41, XB32, XB22, XB31, XB21, and the list just goes on. So just keep that in mind if you decide to pick the speaker up. But overall, the XB23 knocks it out the park when it comes to sound quality. The XB23 has much better instrument separation, a much wider sound stage, and it also gets a little louder than the XB22. But I do feel that you gotta watch out for the real world battery life on this speaker. At max volume, while in extra bass mode, this speaker is good for around 2.5 to 3 hours of playback time. And at 80% volume, this speaker is good for around 4.5 to 5 hours of playback time. So if you're looking for a speaker to take camping, this speaker wouldn't be my top pick. But if sound quality is your main priority, then yeah, this is a good option. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.